So you're going to need five of these. So here are my five. So turn it this way and you're going to do a strip of glue over here. It's important that the glue is closer up here to that side. So I don't even go all the way down, but you can stack it like perfectly on top. The reason why you want to have the glue a little closer to the top is when you, when you fan it open, you have a smaller opening on the top. You'll see. Three. Okay, so here's my fourth one. Again, stacking it as neatly as I can. I don't know if you can see it, there's a lot of reflection. And then this one. Okay, so the good thing with hot glue is it dries really well. It's good to work with hot glue on white paper, but if you use it on a colored paper, you can see the hot glue. So for that, maybe you want to choose like a glue stick, but then you just have to hold it a lot longer. Okay, so here's how it looks like, and then when you fan it open, so you see what I meant about the opening here? So it's nice and small, because later you might want to glue a bead in the center, and you don't want the bead to fall through. Okay, so I just do that. I'm putting my hand in here, closing the flower up, and I put my finger into this petal as well, and I kind of move it around until it looks perfect. Sometimes these will do this, like it will fold inward here, and I think that's just because my origami technique isn't that strong. It's not really perfect. Sometimes it works out really well where it looks like this, so you kind of want this. I think this happens with Maybe uneven folding. Anyway, so this is how you put the five petal flower together.